the next speaker uh, I have a pl the pleasure of introducing is Bill Karsten. Born in Holland, Bill has lived in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia for 40 years. He and his wife Muriel are proud parents of two daughters, three granddaughters. Before entering municipal politics, he enjoyed a 30-year business career in sales, marketing, and management. As uh, he's now FCM president, and uh, Bill has served as a counselor in Halifax since 2004, serving on the FCM board for three years. He was claimed president in June of 2019. Bill firmly believes in the collective role all municipalities play in building better lives. He has dedicated his public life to ensuring our communities are left stronger for future generations with modern infrastructure, a cleaner environment, and the fiscal tools to achieve more for Canadians. Please join me in welcoming Bill Karsten. Thank you very, very much, uh, Jamie. Good morning, everyone. Hey, that's not bad. Good morning, everyone. Excellent. C'est un grand plaisir d'être avec vous aujourd'hui. First, I'd like to acknowledge folks that we are meeting, as you know, on the traditional unceded territory of the Algonquin and Anishbeg uh, people. It is my distinct pleasure to be here with you today at your AMO conference. Now, almost three months into my term as FCM's president, uh, we're just, can you imagine, two short months away from a federal election. So colleagues, there is no shortage of items to discuss here this morning. Throughout Ontario, we know that local governments of all sizes are building better lives. As the order of government closest to daily life, Canadians trust us to understand what they need and to build the solutions that work. As your conference theme drives home, we collectively are in fact the front line. That's why FCM is so pleased to work with AMO and municipal leaders across this great province. We're proud that FCM members in this province represents more than 95% of the total population. And our board of directors, we're also proud, has a very strong Ontario contingent. People like Jamie McCarvey and Strathroy, Roy, Strathroy Cardida, Caradoc, sorry, Mayor Joanne Vanderfelt, who serves as FCM's second vice president. And I also see my friend Tim Tierney here, councillor and board member from Ottawa. Nice to see you, Tim. These folks, my friends, are doing a great job at bringing your local priorities to the federal table, and we thank them for their work. There's actually one other person in the room today that I'd like to acknowledge this morning. For more than two decades, Pat Vanini, Pat's shrugging her head there, has been, from what I understand, a fixture here at AMO. Her career has spanned six provincial premiers, and are you ready for this? It has spanned 23 FCM presidents. <laughs> Pat has been an integral part of AMO's success, and I know she'll be missed. So on behalf of FCM, Pat, thank you for your leadership, dedication, and hard work. Here's to a wonderful retirement, or whatever your plans may be, and folks, ladies and gentlemen, let's please give a, a round of applause for Pat Benini. <laughs> My friends, as I said, we're just two short months away from the next federal election. And elections, quite frankly, have the potential to spark huge change. As we saw in the last election, FCM's advocacy drove every party to make unprecedented commitments to local priorities. Those commitments led directly to historic gains we've seen since then. From the $181 billion federal infrastructure plan to Canada's very, very first national housing strategy. Budget 2019 also took another huge step forward. 
it put more tools in local hands by what? Doubling this year's gas tax fund transfer. It responded directly to local expertise by investing in universal broadband. And it doubled down on delivering directly for Canadians through FCM's Green Municipal Fund. All of this, my friends, raises the bar for this October's election. Now our job is to build in these gains to make empowered local governments the new normal. Because municipalities, we know, are Canada's builders. We build the roads, we build the bridges that people need to get where they need to go. We build the wastewater systems and the rec centers that make our communities so livable and vibrant. In other words, we collectively build better lives. And we do it by making the very most out of the limited tools we have with just a very small fraction of, the, of Canada's tax dollar. The fact is that our toolbox was never meant for 21st century challenges. It's simply outdated. But this election can change all of that. And we're looking to every federal party to commit to a new modernized partnership that brings local leaders to the table with modern fiscal tools that empower us to build better lives. Each federal party is telling Canadians that they have the best plan to make life better. Well, our message to them is simple. Municipalities are the closest to people's real hopes and their challenges. So if you want to build better lives for Canadians, you'll have to have a bold plan to empower local leaders. For months, FCM has been bringing that message straight to the federal parties, to their leaders, key decision makers, and to their election platform architects. Throughout the summer, one by one, we're rolling out key FCM election planks based on issues that matter most to you. So my friends, we've called on every party to commit to a permanent federal funding mechanism for public transit, one that's direct and one that's allocation based. We've also called on them to build a rural lens into the heart and fabric of the federal government so that rural leaders can have a modern streamlined funding mechanism and tool to build better lives. And we've called on them to do what? Permanently double the federal gas tax fund transfer with a predictable annual rate that better reflects economic growth and our rising costs. These recommendations, my friends, have the potential to transform our communities. And every year that fund empowers municipalities to plan and deliver thousands of infrastructure renewal projects, projects that raise people's quality of life. And AMO, Pat, as you know, has administered nearly $5.6 billion in transfers to more than 8,100 local projects across Canada. <laughs> Absolutely. It helped, for an example, the town of Oakville revitalize its historic downtown core. It helped North Perth fund a giant recreation center, which now is a focal point in that community. The list goes on and on, and the fund works. Why? It works because it's direct, predictable, and reliable. Its challenge, however, is at scale. Every year, the federal gas tax fund leaves many, many countless local, local projects unfunded. Core projects like renewing roads, bridges, wastewater, that sort of thing. And Budget 2019 recognized this when it doubled this year's gas tax transfer. Of course, if it makes sense this year, doesn't it also make sense next year and the year after? Am I right? I can't hear you. Am I right? <laughs> Permanently growing the gas tax fund is the most straightforward step the next federal government can take in building better lives. In the coming weeks, FCM will reveal many other uh, election planks, including housable, housing affordability, 
and disaster mitigation. And when the campaign heats up this fall, FCM will be front and center with a full election plank. This, folks, is our biggest election push ever, and we're ready to make an impact. The federal parties are hearing us, and we're taking our message directly to their local candidates and local media. As local leaders and municipal organizations, we succeed how and when, when we work together. In this election, we can do one of two things. We can move forward or we can fall back. There is no standing still and I choose not to do that. Every single one of us though needs to be out there with a strong united message. We need to shape the election narrative once again. And FCM has made that so, so much easier with all of our brand new digital tools. All it takes is the click of your mouse, okay? So please, I don't know if it's on the screen behind me, no. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, on one of the screens that may come up again is the fcm.ca forward slash elections. If you don't have a piece of paper but you have a pen, write it down. fcm.ca forward slash elections. My friends, whether you're from a rural town here in Ontario or a city like myself in Nova Scotia, Canadians trust their local leaders to build lives better. At a time when we all know that big politics can often seem so distant from people's hopes and their challenges, what better way to empower Canadians than to empower local governments closest to their, la uh, lo uh, lo closest to their lives on a daily basis. Because make no mistake about it, my friends, this country's future lies in its cities, communities where Canadians work, live, and raise their families. So let's continue working together to ensure local leaders have the tools to get more done. Because with new modern tools and a seat at the table, we can build the country Canadians deserve. Thank you again for having me. Merci beaucoup. Enjoy the rest of your conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Much appreciated.